had not. Shame on Defra! Shame on Defra! Shame on Defra! Shame on Defra! Rights for peace! Rights for peace! Listen to this group! going, guys. We're gonna get Hey, hey brother, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good Hello, you. you. How are you? We need umbrellas, man, eh? Hey? We go over there and chat like out of the rain. Hi, right, everyone. This is the Defra office. We're basically going to protest them. Just old fashioned protest, that's it. <laughs> going to be shouting out some chants, letting them know what we uh, think about their legislation that allows for pigs to be tortured in uh, gas chambers. Basically, Defra, it's, it's ministers, it's government who are responsible for. Uh, the legislation that lets people like Pilgrims and Cranswick and all these other gas chamber giants do what they do. They should have to hear them. They should have to hear the, the screams of the pigs as they're being tortured in these chambers. A lot of these people in here completely disconnected from what actually happens in, in slaughterhouses and on farms. Let's go. Defra. We're now playing screams from the pigs who suffer in their own feces, in CO2 gas chambers. Gas chambers that you legally approve. The science is clear. CO2 gas chambers literally torture pigs. You have known since 2003, when the Farm Animal Welfare Council advised for a ban of CO2, 20 years ago, but nothing has been done. Why hasn't anything been done? Why are you prioritizing profit for farmers and pork producers over the rights and welfare of pigs? Look up UK Pig Gas Chamber on YouTube. There you will see Pigs being tormented, terrorised and tortured in DEFRA approved, legally sanctioned CO2 torture chambers. How do you sleep at night? Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! How do you live with yourself? Where is your humanity? Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! DEFRA, why are you lying? Why are you saying you are looking for alternatives? You know there is no alternative that will satisfy the pork industry's lust for blood and money. How can you use words and phrases like animal welfare when the majority of pigs are being tortured? Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! Why have you been searching for 20 years to achieve nothing. Pigs need to be protected from scumbag corporations and by the looks of it, the government who is favoring corporations and industry over the welfare of living, breathing, sentient beings. Pigs need, clearly, need legal rights to protect them because the welfare movement has failed them. Rights for pigs! Rights for pigs! Rights for pigs! Rights for pigs! Have you seen the film Pignorant? Where we expose the corruption in the welfare movement. Putting their assured labels on pigs who have been tortured. How is this welfare? This is disgusting and inexcusable. The government has a strong track record for raising the bar when it comes to welfare measures, a DEFRA spokesman said. And we are committed to ensuring all animals are treated with the utmost respect at all stages of life. That's interesting, because last time I checked, it's not very respectful to torture sentient beings in their own feces and urine in a dungeon filled with aversive gas. Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! 
Shame on Deborah. This is a government building, DEFRA. Yeah. They uh, make legislation for animal welfare. I got this footage from a UK gas chamber. Uh, stuck the cameras in the gas chamber. They put them in a pit of gas and they suffocate. And uh, it's CO2 gas, the same gas that's in like fizzy drinks. It causes them extreme pain, suffering, fear, terror. It's their legislation that allows for it. So I've got a documentary called Pignorant. Watch it here in the UK on Amazon Prime. And it shows you how we got the footage. in CO2 gas chambers. The screams you are hearing are the screams of these pigs. Shall we go speak to them? Shall we see what the public think about your legislation? What do you guys think about the death that allow gas chambers no, legally? I, I disagree. Yeah. Yeah, this is the guy who said he's put the cameras inside the chambers. This is him. Yeah. What do you think of that? Did you think the government allow that? Yeah. It's wrong. It's wrong. Death row. These school children are disgusted with you. They're in a state of shock. They can hardly believe that this government allows torture chambers to legally operate all over the UK. That's just the general email though, well, right? This is it, but what, what, what he does, you contact them, then what they're to explain. Yeah, so it goes through to a central team, yeah. and they sort of then direct it to the appropriate Minister. from there. I, I don't know. If, if it was a minister... Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's just for We emailed this before. Yeah. They did nothing. They did nothing. Yeah, Watch this documentary. Ignorant. We already been here. They, they didn't respond. They, they don't care. The ministers. They don't care. They care about industry only. Are their screams disturbing you? Are you feeling a bit inconvenienced by the screams? more quiet without hearing the screams of the victims of your legislation, isn't it? How terrifying for them. How terrifying for those beautiful animals. One of the things that I noticed inside of these disgusting torture chambers that this government allows legally was the amount of and urine that these poor angels released in a moment of terror. It was all over me, all over my hands. Fear, terror, defecation. Some of the pigs, some of the pigs had smashed their face on the cages and had blood all over their nose. That's how hard they fight for their lives. How do you sleep at night? How do you live with yourself? If anyone can get a message to the ministers of DEFRA, this is the message you need to send to them. Right now, millions of pigs are being literally, by every definition, tortured to death under their legislation. We know there's no economically viable alternative, but we don't give a f those animals' rights and their suffering matters more than corporate and 
interest, industry finances. This is not going to go away. Why don't you regulate propaganda? The public already distrust the government. Why are you making this worse? Why are you torturing pigs with your legislation? Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! I've got a challenge for the DEFRA ministers. I would like you to take a little trip inside one of these gas chambers. They can turn it off, they can take the gas out. But I would like you to smell the fear and the feces and the stench of your victims. Hey Steve Barclay, nice suit. Looks very nice and tidy and proper. Why don't you get your hands dirty a bit and see the gas chambers that you're legislating in favour of? Why don't you climb down the hatch? Why don't you see what the pigs have to experience? Why don't you take a face full of CO2 gas and see how you like it? Huh? Why is nothing being done? Why are you torturing pigs with your legislation? Listen to their screams. Please share the footage with the deaf ministers. You can find the video on YouTube. You can also watch it in Pignorant and then you can see your lies in action. You can see the result of your legislation in action. What gives you the right to legislate against their right to life? What gives you the right to give farmers, aka their slave owners, more rights than their victims? What gives you that right? Are you God? Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! See how much quieter it is without the screams of your tormented, terrorised and tortured victims? Wow, it lights up the whole street, doesn't it? But these torture chambers are hidden inside the slaughterhouses in a pit. So their screams are in dungeons down below the ground. If you didn't know, you probably didn't, not even the people in the slaughterhouse knows what goes on inside of that gas chamber. It's mechanical doors that push the pigs in. They can hear some screams, but they're completely disconnected. Not as disconnected as you are though, in your nice comfy offices, with your nice suits, and your bullshit lies, and lip service, and gaslighting, and words, and nonsense. Shame on DEFRA! Shame on DEFRA! Where are the ministers? Steve Barclay, Mark Spencer, Robbie Douglas Miller. Can you hear us? Can you hear the screams of the victims of your legislation? Listen to their screams. Shame, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. What the hell is the matter with you? Why is no one doing anything? There are probably about nine gas chambers operating throughout the UK. Where thousands and thousands of pigs are tortured every day. You don't care. You don't care. Shame on Defra! Shame on Defra! Shame on Defra! Shame on Defra! To the Defra ministers, Steve Barclay, Mark Spencer. Why is nothing being done? Why are you allowing this to happen? Is it because you bow down to the pork industry like good little boys? Where are your principles? Where is your empathy? Where is your compassion? If anyone knows, Robbie Douglas Miller, could you please get the message to him? He is the Minister for Animal Welfare. How can Robbie go to bed in good conscience knowing that these poor, innocent, childlike animals 
are being tortured to death. Listen to the screams of the innocent victims. Think about how much terror they are in. Think about how much torture they are in. And then the hope that nestles nicely in your conscience and you actually do something about it.